Welcome back to Vampire. We need to reach the cemetery to go to our sister's funeral, or at least observe it from a distance, whatever's gonna happen. But first, we have some unfinished business. The game crashed while I was trying to fight these people. Let's try again. Look out. I've heard a lot. So low on health. I want to kill them by uh, by biting them. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. I thought I thought that stake didn't actually do damage though. Yeah, like I don't understand. It does twenty three stun damage. Is stun damage also a type of, like, actual health damage, too? Huh. I don't know how that works. I'm never going to stop destroying boxes and chairs and stuff. Ooh. I can see through there. Thought maybe there's a secret back there, but I don't think so. Let's peek. Absolutely nothing. Dear sister, I don't know if I have the strength. I love the ambiance of the cemetery. Oh, right, the widow in distress. Gotcha, you're Who okay. You? What do you want? Are you all right, miss? I I don't know. Who were those people? They, they they wanted to kill me. Why? They've lost their minds in the epidemic. They won't come back for now. You seem to know a lot about them, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm investigating this disease. I am Xiao Xun. Thank you so much for helping me, Mr. Reed. I must go to the cemetery now. Goodbye. Oh, wait a second. Shouldn't you go back home? Wait. Maybe later. But for now, I need to talk to my husband at the cemetery, Mr. Reed. Medical checkup. Oh, we're fine. Level 3 mesmerize. Okay. Carnage. Is Father Whitaker's disciple among the bodies, I wonder? Oh, right. The Holy Crusade quest. It's locked. That wooden box is locked? How? That's odd. I don't think it even supports a lock. 
This man's far too old to be Samuel. No. By the look of his clothes, this man's a docker. Samuel isn't here. I had better follow the blood trail. This looks ritualistic. Killed on an altar, pile of skeletons around it. So we need to follow the blood, right? And yeah, the quest, the main quest says, discreetly attend Mary's funeral. Because, yeah, having Mary's killer attend it like a normal person would be a little bit upsetting. Oh, that's a bunch of rats over there. As I feared, Samuel no longer preaches the good word. I still don't see them yet, but I guess they're dead. They do a lot of damage. Oh! They do a lot of damage. That's the second time I've ever died. I think. Yeah. I died once back at, um... During that... It was the first bond fight in the morgue, right? And I'm, I'm punished. I'm punished by a one minute long loading screen. I'll see you back on the other side. Try number two. Oh! It just resisted my attempt to coagulate them. Oh, personal diary. Was that Samuel? I don't know if it said their name, I, I didn't pay attention. Uh, 12th of October, Father Whitaker is so righteous, so full of compassion and love for the suffering ones. His words are all this city needs. Tonight I give him all I have, my strength, my faith, my wealth, and if it is not enough, I know where to find more. So full of compassion and love for the suffering ones. I don't know what they're talking about, what uh, Father Whitaker's talk about purification. 17th of October, Father Whitaker and I went to an abandoned house near St. Mary's Church. It was an awful and smelly place. Rats were disputing the rooms to the last remaining residents of the decrepit flats. Most of them are sick. Awful, awful odors. On the last floor, Father Whitaker found an old man lying on a dirty mattress, coughing and spitting blood in a wooden bowl. Father Whitaker knelt before him and prayed a long time. The man seemed to feel better. Then we both helped him find the light. I cried then, and I cry now as I write these lines, for I've never seen a soul so relieved to be finally redeemed. Father Whitaker is a saint. If it's not presumptuous, nor a sinful expression of pride, I wish I'll be able to save as many souls as he does, for it's a real privilege to witness such miracles. Wait, so... Just hold on a second. So Father Whitaker's plan is to save people's souls is basically to pray for them and then murder them? Okay, yeah, sure, that's reasonable. 19th of October tonight, we both went to the... Oh god, this is not going to go well. Went to the whorehouses, boarding the canal. I must admit I was very afraid to cross the path of Jezebel's, but the buildings were abandoned for a long time. Uh, I think I'm going to skim through this. Do, do, do. Uh, disease. Two lost souls. Yeah, they found two sick women. 
and the gildum. And, oh, is this about grave robbing? He needs more from his followers. He needs love and proof of love. Tomorrow I shall go back to the cemetery and unearth more wealth for him. Oh, you're grave robbing. I guess without Father Whitaker's knowledge. Tonight, for the first time, it was my turn to lead the round. I chose to return where we went ten days ago to see if any more souls needed to be freed. Father Whitaker approved my choice, since a good man's work is never finished. And Satan never sleeps, he explained. He also said if I keep showing so much zeal, he may soon give me more important missions and tasks. I can't wait. Three more souls have been cleansed from any corruption tonight. If it's not presumptuous nor sinful expression of pride, I dare to say we are on the path to greatest. We are we are one wait. We are one a path to greatest. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but anyway. Definitely killing Father uh Whitaker. I was already convinced to kill them a while ago, but now it's like doubly doubly so. God, these rats are tempting me to press F. When an F pops up in a game, I just want to press it because loot, you know? Press F on everything to gather loot. With little squeakers, they need to keep living. It's important. Blinker skull. I'm guessing the blinkers are the ones I could teleport. Let's go. Where? Hold on. Where are we exactly? Oh, I'm right across from the hideout. Feels almost close enough that I can maybe teleport there. That'd be a very, very handy shortcut, if so. Ooh, can you? Oh my God, you can! Oh, that's a brilliant shortcut. Right. We still have Mary's funeral to attend. I just desecrated a bunch of graves. I didn't know they were destructible. again. Now stop moving! Tricky to fight. Oh god. Yes, yeah, so you can, oh, I'm so sorry <laughs> to all the dead people I just desecrated. Uh, you can break their their headstones just like you can break anything else, just by running through it or by doing this into it. Sorry. Let's gather them all up and do an AoE. Oh, that's a lot of graves I just destroyed.
did I destroy? Oh my god, I destroyed all of these, didn't I? I think. I think it's the AoE that did it, right? <laughs> I'm supposed to discreetly attend Mary's funeral. And I'm coming in here and destroying, like, all the headstones. It's not very discreet. So many different pathways to take. Uh, right, that's where that widow in distress is. I didn't mean to do that. I did mean to destroy this, though. Weirdly enough, that's indestructible. Very weak stones here. Did I see a thing pop up for a second? Might have just been a reflection. It's like a prompt or something when I ran by here. Nah, must have been a reflection. So how exactly are my... Is it my parents that are attending Mary's funeral? Plus I'm sure a bunch of friends and stuff. How exactly are they attending the funeral if the entire funer uh, cemetery is overrun by skulls? Like, I mean, are they just coming into the funeral with a contingent of guards or something? Is that just how you attend funerals now, or... or what? It's up there. This place is quite large. I want to explore everywhere else first. Alright, that goes back there. Is there anything here? Ah. Holy symbols! And something else. Oh, I thought it was recipes. Oh well, still. Lore. If you ever face a vampire, never forget that they fear holy symbols as long as they have... as you have faith. A cross, a star of David, an olive branch even can prove useful to repel these creatures from the pit. But you will not harm them for good. If you really want to hurt them, only one solution exists. Forget about wooden stakes or silver bullets and find yourself the strongest weapon against vampires. Or a calcum. Do you think it's a coincidence that Orichalcum was common in Atlantis, according to the legend and ancient writings? Atlantis was infested with vampires, and the place is now known as the Santorini Island. I'll personally pay 10,000 pounds to the man who can provide me some real Orichalcum. What is Orichalcum? It sounds like a... like a plant or something. Oh, it's a special type of metal. God, I hope I never encounter this, but I probably will. Um, it says, a yellow metal prized in ancient times, probably a form of brass or a similar alloy. This place seems to be clear of skulls. But again, you kind of have to go through the skulls to get here, unless there's a secret entrance I don't know about. Since I can't reveal myself to my mother now, I must find a discreet spot to attend the ceremony. I 
am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. The soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Why kill my Mary and stick her here in this cold, god-awful place? <laughs> These are the legal requirements for the epidemic, madam. Oh, Avery, I feel so tired. Please take me home. Yes, madam. This is a nightmare. Jonathan, there is nothing you can do but accept it. What brings you here? I thought you could use the company. I am so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. She was a good person. Vibrant, full of life. She was kindness incarnate, my Mary. You're a good person, Jonathan. And a young Ekon. A newborn cast into the night without so much as a candle to guide your way. She had been scouring the most dangerous parts of London in search of me. And it led to her death. Jonathan, don't. I still hear her last thoughts. They echo in my head, her mind shattered, and, and it haunts me. Jonathan, stop. Listen carefully. You must come to terms with this. You must learn to live with what happened. How can I? I've destroyed my family. My poor mother. I can't even console her. Don't you see? You're doing the work of our enemies, feeding your remorse. We are weakest when we grieve, and the guilt blurs our senses. And so this is why you're here, to warn me. You felt this pain yourself. You too have endured this. I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends, loved ones I cherished. Pray for Mary's forgiveness. If you must. I'm not a religious man. You should know that. This is not about you forgiving yourself. This is for her. This is you telling Mary how sorry you are. What should I do then? St. Mary's Church is not far from here. Go there and make your peace. Find the solace you need. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. I feel like the game really wants me to like Lady Ashbury, because they are being... They're, they've been shoved into our life as sort of our, basically our only friend that really, really knows us, right? I mean, 
I mean, there's Dorothy Crane, but we're not close, really. Um, there's Swansea, of course, who is sort of my friend, but they're not a vampire. They don't really understand. They, they really don't understand. I mean, they were kind of making light of the whole situation. Just, oh, it's so fascinating, which, I mean, yes, it is, but also, you know, Jonathan just was forced into this and killed their sister accidentally. Um, so they really don't understand. It's really just Lady Ashbury, who is honestly Jonathan's friend and has helped them save their life before and actually does understand what they are, who they are, and is an, an Ekon themselves. So I guess it makes sense. It really does make sense. It's just that I don't really like Lady Ashbury that much. I don't like what they were doing with the patients. Feeding on them, even if they were the dying. Uh, I don't know, maybe I was too quick to judge them, though. I still don't like them, but... I kind of wanted to just kill them. I just saw them as a murderer. Which, I mean, they are. They were feeding on dying but not dead patients and killing them. So, yeah, they're a murderer, but... I guess there's worse ways to feed than from people who I guess would have died anyway. How do you really know someone's going to die for sure, though? You know? What if one out of, I don't know how many people they fed on, what if one out of a hundred of the people that they've killed that they were sure were going to die, what if they would have pulled through, you know? You don't know. You really can't know. So I still think they're a murderer. Felt like the grave might make a good photo opportunity. Whoa. Not sure why Jonathan took out their weapon. Let's try not to break any of the headstones. So, St. Mary's Church. Oh, right. It's over where the priest is. The father. The father, Father Whitaker, that I want to kill because they're a piece of shit. I've noticed sometimes my own custom markers show up on the map, and I don't remember making them. I must have accidentally clicked on the map sometimes. Because the weird thing is, is I, like, if I open a map like this, my first instinct is that intuitively I would think that you probably left-click on the map and drag it, right? Like, hold down left-click here and then drag to move it. But that doesn't work, it just makes markers. In fact, the only way to actually move it is just to move your mouse to the edge of the screen. You can't use the arrow keys, you can't use WASD. Got to do that. So intuitively, I think I tend to just do this and try to drag, so that's probably how I end up making those custom markers accidentally. We have new enemies. Step away, sir. That's kind of interesting. I guess they don't know you're a vampire when you're at this distance. But yeah, I didn't sleep or anything between encountering these enemies. And I went here pretty recently. I don't know if they've respawned, or quest things have reset them, or what, but let's get them. Did sure she goes, a newborn seeking divine consent to lick the blood from the soft and pointy crown. Who are you? Make yourself known. Newborn, you reek of guilt and pointless compassion. Shed your skin, forget your old weaker self. What do you want from me? Ascalon does not approve of lone wolves who bring unwanted eyes to our pastures. So your name is Ascalon? <laughs> Ascalon's will is vampire law. Learn them, abide by them, or I shall return as your judge and jury. These immortals try my patience with their plans and unsolicited counsel. 
It was interesting. So Ascalon, I wonder if that's the elder that we've heard about that's in the area. If their word is law, sounds like they're an elder. And whatever type of vampire that was, I don't think it was an Ekon because it looked so different. They were massive and their entire skin was just this like grayish color. Looked very different from us. So I guess we're being watched all the time. Uh. See ya. What is it that you want? I'm sorry to disturb you at such a late hour. No worries, my son. I'm still quite awake, having just returned from a funeral. Yes, I know. I've forgotten what I wanted. I don't know... May I help you, child? You seem somewhat perturbed. I haven't the strength to cross the threshold. I wish to pray, to cleanse my soul. The church is shut by order of the bishop, but I'm still the vicar of St. Mary's, if that is any use to you, my son. Am I being, like, divinely, by, by faith, being kept from entering the church? Is this just an emotional thing that Joseph is, is talking about, or are they actually, like, literally, I can't enter the church because of... Me being a vampire and, and something about it being a church. You seem to me a good soul, Vicar. But this is a personal matter. There are no secrets from God, my son. If your heart needs comfort, consider me your chapel. For I can be as silent as stone. I've words for one departed. They're not for living ears to hear. Your eyes burn with rage, yet I see the pain that lies beyond. I am here to lighten the burden of all God's creatures. Whatever you tell me is between us and the Lord. Very well, priest, as you seem quite adamant. Open your heart, my son. Tell me what burdens you. With whom do you wish to speak? She was my sister. You seem so troubled by the loss of this girl. What happened to her? She was murdered. I see. And how are you feeling, my son? She died because of me. How do you think I feel? I have a final question for you, my son. This is of the utmost importance. Ask your question, Vicar. What words would you like to say to your poor sister? I killed you. There's no excuse. My dear Mary, forgive me. You have been hurt, my son, and your burden will lighten. If your words are sincere, go in peace now and live your life in the way she would have wanted. Feels too... too short of an encounter for that to really... like... their words that... Go live your life the way Mary would have wanted. Uh, you've been heard. I don't know, just talking for a couple minutes. It doesn't feel big enough for something like that to be... Uh, you know, uh, like, I can't imagine Jonathan walking away from this encounter going, Ah, oh, okay, everything's good, great. Right? Like, something this serious, it needs... more. 
more than just a quick conversation. I can't imagine Jonathan is at peace now at all. I confessed to that vicar. Do I feel better? Only time will tell. Oh. Uh, I just went to talk to Christina Popa again, just to see if they have any new dialogue. Could this be the scarf you lost? Uh, I guess that scarf that I found a while ago. If you remember, like, uh, updated a quest when I found it. It was a quest item that I had found without actually getting the quest. I guess it was for them. Could this be the scarf you lost, Miss Popper? It is much more than a scarf to me. It is the only thing that connects me to my family and my country. Thank you so much. Now that I've finally got migraine medication, let's give it to Benjamin Palmer. I can try to help your body heal, sir, but you must stop destroying it. The war destroyed me, Doctor. Wait, you should read this letter. <laughs> the w what letter? I keep getting all these things for quests that I didn't know I had. I have found a very interesting letter. Your son planned to prove his worth to the gang by stealing your medicine. Oh, I see. So the little bugger thought he could use his dad to build a reputation. The gang's recruiter was dead when I found him. Perhaps you should take better care of your son. I love my Albert, sir. Believe me. It's just a... Well, I'm an arsehole, I suppose. Anyway, thanks for the letter. This is for your trouble. my life. Now you insult my mind. Be stilled, my child. I bring understanding. What is it you seek? This age is sickly. An ancient poison, an older rage, brewed in a cauldron newly forged. This has something to do with the epidemic. I've had enough of others making decisions for me, pretending to know how I should feel or behave. So the vampire who made me is some sort of disembodied entity? Or was he just projecting this vision in my mind? <sighs> Maybe Edgar can help me with this one. Yeah, they called me the, their champion. I am the land, you are our champion. So they have plans for us. Someone's argument. Ar argumenting? Yes, someone's argumenting. God protect us. You've got a leech in the hospital. Uh, yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about warring. You've set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the guard. Leave him, Jonathan. This is sacred ground, neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned.
By the sacred stole, this is very bad news. Bad news indeed. What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. Wait, what happened? Remember I was I was actually fearing just recently that uh, the vampire hunters might try to raid this place, right? Was it the vampire hunters? We cannot have the people lose faith in this institution. This hospital is their only hope. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order and quickly. You mentioned a dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss Harriet Jones. I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. Harriet Jones? Wasn't that that... The, the oldest patient in the hospital, the one that was a complete piece of shit? That's really no loss, Swansea. Don't worry about it. Very well. I'll help you. I know this place means something to you. I have noticed how you suppress your appetite when around the staff and patients. You need to know you can trust me, Edgar. I do, dear fellow, I do. Please then, tell me. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. And now Guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you realize what that could mean for us? Rest assured, I will protect you, and your staff. McCullum is a fanatic. The guard will stop at nothing. You, you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this. Put an end to Sean Hampton's savagery? I assume that means kill them. Find Sean Hampton at the East Sean End Hampton docks. lives and breathes for the well-being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks. Have I been there before? Oh, that's back where we came from, right? I think we dashed through here when we were escaping. Right? Didn't we, like, start somewhere around here, I think? I'm not certain. It was, it was ages ago. Oh, we have a brisk blood sample to analyze. Oh, that's my first, I guess, second tier serum. From a light stamina serum to a normal stamina serum. Increases regeneration rate by 100% instead of 50. Looks like we have the stuff to upgrade our hacksaw. Let's get it up to level 3. You're going to take us from 82 damage to 104. From a common hacksaw to a good hacksaw. And let's get increased damage by 10%. Gonna take us up another 10 damage. Can also upgrade our revolver. Let's get it up to level 3. Gonna take us from 62 damage to 82. And for specialization, this one increases the rate of fire, but I don't think, like, the pistol, the revolver already fires pretty fast. And it looks like it takes the fire rate from 10 to 12, which isn't even that huge of an increase. I don't think that's that important. This, on the other hand, adds 5 stun points. It's going to take the stun from 10 per shot to 15, which is actually pretty huge. That's one of the really important things about the revolver, is just kind of interrupting and preoccupying enemies, so stunning them faster is really good. I guess I should take a look at the shotgun, too. Oh, I wow, I never even upgraded it to level 2. Damn. Well, let's get that. Damage dealt by 10%. Decreased reloading time. Hmm. I'm gonna go with damage. I've gone ahead and gotten three upgrades, so I've finally gotten Shadow Mist. Probably should have gotten that a long time ago. I don't know. But finally have the first level of it. That's actually the first thing I've ever gotten that does Shadow Damage. I feel like it's probably pretty important to have a diversity of damage types for when I have a particularly a really strong enemy. For weak enemies, I guess it doesn't matter that much. But that could be very handy. 
I also got the second level of autophagy. That's my self-healing. So from 200 healing to 250. Pretty big increase. And I also improved my endurance from plus 15% to plus 30. I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I think I'm going to focus on some side quests. I'm not going to head to the East End docks just yet. Uh, it looks like for a widow in distress, apparently we have to convince Xiao Shun to go back to Whitechapel. That's the widow in distress that was in the cemetery. Uh, I don't remember them having any other dialogue options, but I guess I'll go talk with them again. And there's also actually a lot of people, doctors especially, around Pembroke Hospital that I've never spoken with.